Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. How is everybody? It is Friday the 20th. I got the date wrong yesterday, I do apologise. It is the 20th today. Um, <clears throat> I have just got ready to go to the doctors. Um, I was up early this morning at 8 o'clock and rang them and got an emergency appointment because my knee today is absolutely killing me. I'm sorry if I'm cutting the top of my head off. Um, it is, my appointment's at 10 past 11. It's half past 10 now um, and I need to get diesel. So <laughs> I need to hobble round the petrol station um, or drive to the petrol station, hobble and get some diesel and then go to the doctors. I'm hoping that they can do something because it is just throbbing. Um, even last night in bed it was hurting so bad i've just edited yesterday's vlog but i haven't got time to upload it so i'll do that when i get back also i will show you the yarn that i got when i get back and i will show you in a bit more detail uh what i have been making i thought it was still on the sofa but i put it away um but i thought i'd quickly come on and say that i'm off to the doctors and i'll let you know how i get on so i'm now back from the doctors <laughs> It's got a bit wild. Um, it got blown around in the car a little bit. Um, so the doctors have given me naproxen uh, because they think that it could be an inflammation of something or other. Um, so he's given me that and some exercises to do. Uh, he said if it doesn't get better within two weeks, then go back. Um, me personally, I really don't think it's muscular or anything like that. Uh, but there might be a, an inflammation there somewhere. Um, so I need to go and pick up that prescription. The um, It's now half past 12. So the traffic is absolute nightmare. Because obviously everyone's having lunches. And the, the uh, school was kicked out for lunch as well. And I just thought oh, I'm not going around the chemist now. Um, I'll probably go later. Or even tomorrow I might pop around there. Um, I know the naproxen is not going to work in a day. So yeah. Um. But I thought I'd quickly uh, come on now and I'm just uploading to YouTube as you can see in the back. But I thought I would come on and show you what I bought from Audi yesterday. As I said yesterday I was going to show you and I didn't. <laughs> um, but so yeah, the yarn that I bought was all, um, I was going to say all double knit, it's not all double knit. Um, I'm just going to show you. My sister has got a ball of yarn that she bought me for my birthday. She's obviously kept that. Um, and it's the big Aaron in the baby pink. Uh, because I thought that was really cute. And it would make a really nice top with maybe some of the other Aaron I've got. I've got grey. I've got yellow. Or like a mustard colour. I have a red. And bits like that. So, anyway. <clears throat> I bought... Uh, for a four pack of white and at the same time as looking at that I picked up this really nice purpley colour does it say purple on it? Uh, plum and this is just white I believe yeah just white but this is like a really nice plummy purple colour because what I want to do is I want to make four Oh, I don't want to say granny squares, but like squares, so crocheted squares. Maybe in these two colours, uh, and maybe with like a grey as well, uh, to make four squares and make it into a poncho. Now, I'm getting all my recent ideas from um, Z, from Zelda NRJ3. <laughs> uh, she made one ages and ages ago, and I really, really liked it and I've just not got round to making one so I thought um, as winter is coming and I say winter, autumn is here now and <clears throat> not that it feels like an autumn day today, it is absolutely roasting outside, it's so nice, I just feel like I want to go and sit outside somewhere. Um, we have got like a bit of garden here but it's you can't really sit outside because if everyone's front one window faces outwards um i suppose i could sit out there and mind my own business and whatever i wouldn't really bother me uh but we do need a new table and chairs so i am looking for um a garden table and chairs to put out there because the one out there is just i think has had it or needs a good wash um i know one of the chairs is broken um it's not ours it's one of the neighbors um so i was just going to get some some chairs and whatever like more like more relaxing chairs because they're proper 
sort of chair chairs I want more I want chairs that I can just sit in and relax a little bit more and do my crochet and knitting or whatever and um, as the modem is right by the window I probably would be able to get Wi-Fi down there so I could take my uh, iPad and watch YouTube down there or Netflix or whatever and obviously put my headphones in and just sit down there and just chill um, so that is the plan for next year I did plan that for this year but it was just a bit too late it was like I think it was just after the holiday I said oh, I said to Ian I want to spend more time out there but it just didn't happen um, <clears throat> so yeah that is my plan anyway I'm rambling on far too much about the outside and um, the weather <laughs> off topic uh, but these I got these are the two that I got the double knit and then the other day Ian saw um, a lady on YouTube it was on my sort of watch list um, my subscription list and it was a picture of a huge pumpkin um, so I picked up some orange and this is like the Chanel Burnett baby type stuff um, and um, it does actually say that it's um, it comes with a baby blanket a free baby blanket pattern inside um, I am assuming that's knitting um, yeah I'm just assuming it doesn't say knit and pearl it says so yeah I'm assuming it's knitting but it's um, it's really really soft and it is bright yellow so I'm thinking of making pumpkins out of this and then I have got some green I was thinking of making it out of this here you can just see it in the screen um, this is double knit and I don't even know where it's from to be honest is it new fashion no it's Robin uh, Robin double knit and the Robin double knit I find really rough so that's why I haven't used it for anything uh, but I could make baby ones with that and then bigger ones with this I don't know <laughs> but that's all the yarn that I picked up I was very very good um, I just wish they had some more like variegated yarn or something um, I really really want to make this and I keep going on about it um, <clears throat> but I just wish they had something that was more variegated um, instead of plain because I don't know I like variegated yarn uh or if it's stripes or whatever um yeah whatever <laughs> then last night i picked up something completely new and i started the uh poncho i did show you a little bit last night but the light was not brilliant so i have i am i am <laughs> using the armoni from lolly's little wool shack and it's this grey with the blue bits in it. I think this is an Aran um, because it is quite thick. And this is what this little poncho is looking like so far. It looks more like a mini skirt. <laughs> uh, not that that would go around my waist, no. <laughs> uh, but it would <clears throat> go here. I did try it on last night. So this is what it would look like let me just move it down if I can um, you're on my new tripod uh, so this is what it would look like once it's on so you can sort of have it off the shoulder one side a bit more than the other and it will obviously come down a bit more as well once it's finished and I can give it a good sort of tug to pull it down and I'm really really liking this pattern it's so nice and i'm so glad that i did the extra chain um because obviously you don't want it falling down but then you don't want it i, I wouldn't have liked it if it was sort of up there i don't think because it would have been more like a top where this you can wear like i would wear a plain top underneath and wear this um <clears throat> so i chained 20 more and this is what the yarn is looking like i really wasn't sure at first i was like i don't know whether i'm gonna like the um the two yarns together i didn't know whether i would like this in this design uh but i really am feeling it and it's really nice um i could wear this with jeans i could wear it with leggings i could wear it with jean shorts i can wear it with so many different things so i'm really really happy with this and uh, let me just put you back up <laughs> um <clears throat> well wobbly wobbly <laughs> um so yeah i'm really pleased and happy with this i'm gonna probably carry on with this a little bit more today i've already used one ball i have five i've already used one ball 
this is the second ball and I yeah like I said I have five so I should have plenty we shall see <laughs> um but we'll just see how it goes how many rows have I done because I think I only did one extra row last night so I've done one two three four five six seven eight nine so I've done ten and the pattern says for you to do 32 so I should have plenty um but we'll show we shall see anyway that's enough of me rambling um as you can see my hair is just washed out so much um obviously <clears throat> my hair was sort of well darker than all this here and everything but I do quite like the ombre look, don't get me wrong, but it was so much darker when I did it. <laughs> uh, and I think pink does actually really suit me. And every time I say, oh, I'm going to go back to brown, I hesitate and think, mm, but I really like my pink. It's just my roots that get on my nerves and it's the, not the doing it, because obviously this has been four weeks now, just over four weeks, I think. Maybe five weeks. I know... Ollie wasn't born, it was the week before, it was the weekend before Ollie was born that I actually did it, and Ollie was born on the the Saturday, so yeah, it was a, it's like five, Ollie is four weeks, no, no, that can't be, four weeks tomorrow, that can't be right, I'm going to have to check this, is he four weeks tomorrow? One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh my God, he's four weeks tomorrow. That is crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, he was born on the 23rd of August. Time flies. Anyway, so my hair's been done for nearly five weeks. Um, so it hasn't done too bad, really. Um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to ramble on for now. Um, <laughs> and I shall catch you up a bit later with any progress that I've done I don't know what we're doing today or oh, like this evening or anything I haven't got a clue um, so yeah my sister coming around tomorrow I know that um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow we'll just take the day as it comes so um, yeah I'll probably catch you up a little bit later on with any progress or anything that I start that I feel like I just want to get my hands on <laughs> So it's now half past three, um, we are going out this evening, so I just thought I'd quickly update you on this. Um, I have come to the end of the second ball, and this is how much I've got so far. It just looks like a skirt. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like so far. I haven't counted the rows, let me quickly do that. So I have one, two... I've got 18 rows, um, <clears throat> so that's not bad going really, um, so I need to do this again, uh, I have this much <laughs> left of the ball, and um, yeah, so let me just put it on quickly, I keep going to put my arms in as well, like no Denise, your arms don't go in, <laughs> um, I can't reach the back though, <laughs> um, I reach the back I can a little bit uh, but I'm just so pleased with how it's turning out I'm just gonna move you down oh the sun uh, but this is what it is looking like so far um, it's quite a nice length actually if it was a color that went with like a dress that you had or something hello <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah if you had a dress or something um, it would look really nice actually and I like the fact that it's not too tight so it is like quite loose on me and obviously I'm bigger around the belly than anywhere else so I need it bigger there uh, and like I said before you can sort of have it a bit like that once it's done um, <clears throat> yeah I'm really pleased with it so far I apologize for the noise uh, but yeah once it is done I'm going to be really pleased with it but I just don't know what I'm gonna wear it with <laughs> it is grey and blue so jeans and things in the winter um yeah so I thought 
I would update you with that. Um, <clears throat> it just looks like a child's skirt. <laughs> um, I don't know whether I will block it or not, or just wear it as it is. I'm not 100% yet, because obviously all this bit I can pull down, but then the bottom, um, in the pattern, or on the video, it shows uh, that she's put tassels on the bottom. I don't think I'll put tassels. It's not really a tassel -y colour, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I did sat, did sat here. I did sit here for a little while with the windows wide open. Um, obviously, you all know I don't have a garden. And because this weather is so nice, I just wish I had a garden. I could just sit out. So I opened the windows right up, sat here with uh, a cup of coffee and some lunch and just enjoyed having the windows wide open. <laughs> a little bit odd, I know. And then my, my bum went numb, so then I went and sat back on the sofa. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm probably going to end today here because we're going to John and Vic's and I don't normally film anything there. Um, I won't be taking anything crafty with me, so yeah that is pretty much it for today if there is anything to i don't want to say update you on but if there is anything then it will be on my, inst my instagram um so yeah it's just lovely and sunny and i wish that oh i could sit outside but never mind <laughs> um i was actually sat over there a little bit for, for a little oh i can't even talk today for a little while and i did get cold i was like but in the sun it's so warm uh never mind <clears throat> so i want i'm going to carry on with this so i've got another three balls which should be plenty to carry on and even if i use all five balls and yeah go from there i don't know i could even put like a band around the bottom as well i don't know i, I probably won't but i'm just thinking out loud um so the end of the ball i keep saying that anyway i'm gonna go thank you for watching please subscribe oh, please subscribe if you're no no denise no please subscribe if you're not already subscribed <laughs> that's the words that i was looking for um if you want to see more of my rambliness and my not being able to speak <laughs> and everything else then yeah press that subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you've got any questions leave those below and i will be sure to answer them in the next video or the video after or whenever you put them put the questions uh down below on any video i will try to answer any questions that you have leave me a uh, comment on instagram or whatever i don't know i'm just rambling so thank you for watching and i shall see you all tomorrow bye